Hey everybody, welcome to week two of Nelly's training vlog. I hope these next few videos give you guys a little bit of insight of what I'm doing, how I'm doing it, and I hope you can implement it into your puppy. You'll find that in these next few videos, I'm teaching Nelly when I stop, she automatically sits. And I've also gone to a local village as well, so you can see her getting used to cars going by. Uh, I hope you enjoy the videos, and don't forget, if you guys are looking for help with training your dog or your puppy, we do one-to-one -one training, and also online coaching as well, where you send us your WhatsApp videos, and we train you that way. So uh, I hope you enjoy don't forget to pop us a like and subscribe too see you all soon this video is literally about the third or fourth time that nelly's been on the lead you can see that she's uh, she's going in front of me and around me all the time you see i'm virtually tripping up over her you see her head still going down to the floor so these are all the things you've got to check so when the head goes to the floor just tuck the lead up a little bit and get the head coming up because the last thing you want is the dog to to put the nose down the floor. You see how I'm encouraging her around to come around to me on that bit there. And again, so she, she's going wide there and she's jumping around a little bit. So she's very, very new to the lead here. And then we actually also have a car that's coming at the same time, which, which doesn't help as well because it puts her off. But as you can see, she's doing okay. Okay, in this video here now, you can see that Nelly gets a little bit nervous. So she's jumping, she's quite, she isn't, she isn't sure what's going on. So what you got, what I do is I, I pick her up, just have a little word, just say, "Come on, everything's okay. You're all right. It's nothing to be scared of." As you can see, it's, it's chucking down a rain here. And then what, what I do is then to to get her to to come back, I start to like to jog with her, so it gets a little bit fizzy. So she comes along. As you can see, you can see she's jumping along and she's bouncing there. And this is what you need to do. So if if your dog gets a little bit nervous, which which most of them do, then you, you just need to encourage them just by running a little bit. But as soon as you've got them. In you've got them back fizzing again and they're bouncing around and you know they're happy again you can see the tails wagging just slow down a little bit and start to walk at a normal pace and as you can see now she's happy again now you can see the little tails wagging again you can see how she's walking and healing work getting a little bit better as you can see on this one um she's not on under my feet as much as she was before so yeah as you can see there's some really good improvements here you'll notice i'm going to different places in different videos again in this one i've got to really jolt Nelly up again, get her all excited again to go, because again, she's a, little, she's a little bit nervous, so we're jogging a little bit in this one, and I'm starting to get her onto the, onto the heel now, so I'm really encouraging her coming round, and then as soon as she then starts, and she's okay, and she's happy with it, then I start to walk again. Once you start to walk, see, I can I've turned back into myself rather than around myself on this one. Could you see that? And as you can see, she's starting to calm down a little bit. And what I've done this time is, as I've stopped, I've just give the lead a little bit of a tug to make her sit down. Right, again, a little different venue again. As you can see now with Nelly, she's starting to walk now. All I've been doing with it is literally at this stage, it was 10 minutes twice a day. That's it. But I've been going to different places every time. It's really important to go to different places every time. You can see now that her position now by the side of me is a lot better. She's not moving from side to side. She's keeping a straight line. When she does move a tiny little bit, I'm just checking her and correcting her. When I have to turn again, I have to encourage her to when I turn so she comes back and she knows exactly which line to be. Each time that you give a little tug on the lead, you just say heel and just walk on. You want to walk at quite a brisk fashion. The reason being is when you walk quite quickly as for a young pup they don't put the nose down as much on the floor because they're too busy then concentrating on walking rather than sniffing the ground so as you can see now she's not she's not under my feet she's not tripping me up here and like i say this is literally 10 minutes twice a day but going to different places always always on hard surfaces see i've just checked there a couple of times and you can see how she's walking now she's not under my feet she's a little bit far away but she's walking really nicely at this point now We're here now with Nelly. Again, as you can see, it's throwing it down with rain again. I'm trying now to get her to sit every time that I stop. So, so watch how I correct her. So I'm just moving the bum around so she's in exactly the right position because she was just off. If you remember, if you train perfection, you might get 95%. So we're walking now. You can see how, she, how she's, she's not walking properly because she's still a little puppy. But again, she sits down and we're just telling her a good girl, telling her she's good, she's doing everything correctly. See how she just jumped away then because she's still a little unsure and just jumping under my feet. She's getting a little bit fizzy. So we stop again now and she pops her bum down nicely. Now you'll watch now that I correct her now. Watch how I correct her. Such so a quick, short, sharp jerk with the lead straight away. Good girl, good girl after that. And there you go. That's how you correct a dog properly. Here we are at a local town centre. Now, you can see 
she's really progressing now. You can see still getting her to sit down every single time that I stop. Watch the little tail, look at the tail wagging, the tail's wagging loads and loads. She's really happy. She's in a really nice position now. And again, I've just been doing twice a day, 10 minutes a day. That's all I've been doing. We're walking against her now and we also walk around as well when, when we turn. It's really important that you do both. Again, can you see how she stopped to say, tell her she's a good girl. You can see now that the progress coming along now. I've brought her to local town centre now just to get used to different things, different noises and different people and all those kind of things. Again, once she says loads and loads of praise, tell her she's a good girl. But what you don't want to do, you don't want her to um, be fizzy and jumping around when you tell them, tell them that they're a good girl or a good boy. Now look, she sat there a little bit behind me there, so it's a case of bringing her forward, getting her in the right position, sitting her down so she knows where she needs to be and where's the correct position. And again, just tell her she's a good boy, a good girl, so just to let her know that everything's okay. And then we move on, quick little bit of encouragement. And as you can see now, she's walking quite good to heal now. Again, she's a little bit behind again there, just needs a little bit of praise just to bring her back on. Here we're in the town centre again and we're walking up and we're trying to find some stairs here so she can go upstairs. It's important to get dogs to, to walk on all different surfaces, but not only the surfaces, but go up different platforms and things. As you can see here, she'll go up the step, she holds it quite nicely, she's still holding the heel. And as I stop in a minute, you'll see that she just literally sits down straight away. And this is what we're looking for each time. Don't forget, lots and lots of praise. I'm literally just sitting in a town centre here with Nellie in between my legs. I'm sitting on a park bench and she's basically watching cars go by. What I'm doing, is, as you can see, I've got it in between my legs. What that does is it takes away options for the dog. What I mean by that is with options is, is it's, it's letting her know that she's safe with me. She's between my legs as she's looking at the, the, the different cars and all the world go by and people go by. But she's safe. It's taking away options. It's taking away left and right and behind. So she can only look in front really. And these are the things that you need to do. Take away options from the dog when you're training a dog. So make things easier for you, but more importantly, easy for the dog. And what it does is it gives her much more confidence. See how she's looking at me and she's not, not too bothered now with the cars and she's happy with it. A little bit of encouragement. So she knows that everything's good and she's happy and she's safe and she knows that cars are okay and she can walk to heel with them. In this video, I've tried to make it a bit like a bird's eye view so you can see where she is in the heel. Now, you can see how close she is to me. You can see now, how, watch how her tail's wagging. She's so, so happy to be doing this. Um, it's quite odd, actually, to video at the same time, but this gives you a really good good idea of where healing should be when you learn a puppy of uh, where they should be by your heel. It just gives you a really, really good idea of, of where they should be and how they should be doing it. And as you can see, just look at that tail. She's really happy to do this. Okay, in this next video now, you'll see Nelly now. Again, just teaching her manners. So when she's in a crate in the back of the car, you've got to make sure that when you open that door, little puppies and, and dogs don't run out. Now watch what she does. She tries here to like, she's, she's testing me. She was like putting a paw in to try and you've got to make sure that they stay there. It's really important that you take control of that dog, especially out, out of a crate because it's it's so easy for a dog just to come out and jump out and, and run into different and into cars and things like that. So it's really important that you get give them those manners that they deserve. Again, in this next video, we're teaching manners again. We're going to put Nellie's lead on her on this time. Now, just watch what happens in this video. She, she actually tries to take me on by. She actually tries to come out of the crate before I tell her. Now, you can't let dogs get away with anything. I mean, literally anything. Because once you do, it's as if they then have like a tally chart inside their head. And they go, yes, I won that one. I can try it again. So you can't look. Look how she's now. She's messing about there. She's running around. Then she comes jumping out without even putting a lead on. You've got to put them back straight away. Even a professional trainer I have these problems. So you've got to put them back straight away into the position where they need to be, pop the lead on, and then let them stay there for a minute and then call them out. There you go. And that's how you do it. If you do that, you'll have any problems. Don't let the dog beat you. That's the secret.